The Federal Highway Administration, Division of Highways of the West Virginia Department of Transportation and the Northern Webster County Improvement Council, Incorporated, sponsors this video. Welcome to our annual Hacker Valley Ramp Dinner. Our dinners support both our Community Volunteer Fire Department and our Community School Parent Teacher Group. The dinners are these organizations only fundraisers, so their value is well understood and folks are very good about pitching in to help. Since the spring ramp dinner is the larger dinner and has more activity, it is the one we are going to feature. It is the larger affair because we must dig enough ramps for both the spring and the fall dinners, and because guests are happy to see the end of winter, so they come out in mass for a mess of ramps or spring tonic as some folks call them. We have determined our first ramp dinner was held in 1963. The dinner was served in the former Wesley Anderson store building at Pew, owned by Cecil and Alta Coger. A few years later, we began using the old Hacker Valley two-room school building that had been converted into the school cafeteria. Once our gym was built around 1976, we moved the eating area there and now are able to seat around 225 at a time. In the spring of 2007, we served approximately 1,400 dinners. This included takeout dinners that we began offering a few years ago. The food prep areas are in our firehouse, school cafeteria, and a classroom in the gymnasium. Volunteers, using large insulated army food containers, transport prepared food to the gym classroom. Beginning three weeks prior to the dinner, volunteers call local residents to remind people that diggers and cleaners are needed and request food donations. Much of the food is donated, however the bacon, beans, potatoes, and eggs are purchased in bulk. Food for our spring dinner includes 10 cases of eggs, or 300 dozen, 90 dozen to be pickled, and 210 dozen to be fried during the dinner, 550 pounds of bacon, 125 pounds of beans, two cases of two pound cans of applesauce, 1,000 pounds or one half ton of potatoes, eight one pound packages of dried beans, 20 quarts of pickled beets, 10 gallons of vinegar, 5 gallons of cooking oil, 12 pounds of butter, 50 pounds of self-rising flour, 150 pounds of plain flour, 85 pounds of self-rising cornmeal, 12 pounds of salt, 125 pounds of sugar, 6 large boxes of powdered milk, 100 pies, 60 cakes, 12 pounds of coffee, 600 tea bags, 60 packages of Kool-Aid, 12 gallons of buttermilk, 10 large cans of shortening, and 24 large jars of grape jelly. We must also have 
2,000 three-section foam trays, 2,000 foam cups, thousands of napkins, flatware sleeves, and flatware. Ramp digging begins three to four weeks prior to the dinner, as soon as the ramps are big enough, about six inches above the ground. Crews of volunteers go out early in the morning in four-wheel drive vehicles and ATVs to travel deep into the hills to the ramp patches. Quite often there is snow on the ramps. Digging can be a thankless job, but our brave and hardy volunteers are dedicated to our community and continue to dig year after year. Digging has a technique all its own. A good digger leaves virtually all the dirt in the woods and only brings in fairly clean ramps. Ramps are gently placed in 100-pound feed sacks to transport to the cleaning station. To supply both dinners, we need at least 40 sacks of raw ramps. This is around 160 bushels. Trying to keep the leaves from the woods out of them. Once you get them loose, you know, shake out any other plants or roots that are not a, a ramp and then just kind of give them a shake to get any loose soil. And when you lay them in the sack, just lay them together with the roots in one direction for so far up on the sack and then reverse it. Lay them like so. Then whenever the cleaners go to take them out, they can do the same thing. They can reach in and get them by a handful and they're already laid like that. Where if you just toss them in the sack and they're twisted and turned, they have to take the time to sort them out. And it just keeps them moving along at a better pace. I've been digging so far this morning, roughly 45 minutes to an hour. And it's a little tougher digging here. One thing due to the weather, and the lay of the land. You probably got the time they're cleaned out and cooked down for an average dinner. For an average person eating, they might be three to five messes. Uh, for someone that really likes them, probably a couple. It's kind of a reward to see people come to the community and enjoy themselves kind of makes all the work worthwhile and it it helps the community in a lot of ways helps the school helps the fire department people get to see the state park and small community of Hacker Valley and all the sites between here and there we have a lot of a repeater so to speak it have been coming for years. Actually, a lot of them has been coming longer than I've been an active member of the fire department. So I think uh, you get to talking to a few of the people that attend it, and uh, you know some of the people that they associate with. That might be their only chance to get to see them during the year and catch up on what's happened in their life and the events in the past year. Once the ramps are dug and brought in from the mountains, the cleaning process begins. This is a multi-step process that involves derooting, skinning, three washings, and a final rinse, inspection, cutting, cooking, and prepping for storage. Some folks would rather rinse than deroot, 
and some don't like rinsing, but prefer skinning. PT, which is our parents and teachers for the elementary school, gets 50% of the profits in the spring, and we do that to, it's used to fund field trips, and we've done things like put air conditioners in each of the classrooms, uh, some maintenance issues that the uh, Board of Education needs help with, or that's in addition to minimum things that they provide. Every student before they leave Hacker Valley gets a dictionary that they get to keep. That's something that uh, PT buys. It also funds um, any necessary uh, items or travel for uh, the bees, the spelling bee, the social studies fair, science fair, math field day, youth and government. Yeah, um, it also use uh, the money for Mother's Day, Mother's Day flowers. Um, any type of, a lot of periodicals like uh, Time for Kids, Weekly Readers. Um, they've bought calculators with the money. Of course the fire department does fire protection for the, the area. Uh, residential and business and the school. Cleaned ramps are stacked to facilitate cutting. The cooking is now done in the afternoon or evening as the aroma, while tolerable to many, gives some of our cleaners headaches. So we try to keep the process of cleaning as odorless as possible. If you visit our cleaners, it is evident that most of them are the grand individuals of our community, grandfathers and grandmothers. Our younger residents, including our middle school and high school students, make themselves available the day of the dinner to serve our guests. They often wrap silverware, carry dirty dishes to the dishwasher, or serve cold drinks on the day of the dinner. I've never been at a place like Hacker Valley. It's just very unique. And it is a, a true community where everyone works together. If they know it's going to benefit, they, it's going to benefit the community. You usually don't have any problems at all getting people to come and help out. And I, I come out here personally. I'll tell you personally why I do come out here. I come out here because it's a community thing. I've never been in a community that people work this hard together a show of community and people are friendly here and you get to get to talk to people that you don't see every day it's a family affair usually usually our kids come and help with it too other years the students from the school have come over during recess or if uh, they didn't have too many pressing subjects that day they would come and help clean you're going to edit that, aren't you? <laughs> Please edit that. Uh, we usually let them start working around the fourth or fifth grade, uh, serving drinks and wrapping silverware. Sometimes at that age, uh, they also can help clear tables. 
By the time they're in seventh and eighth grade, they do get to help wait on wait tables and actually carry food to guests. Okay, we start out with putting a dish pan full of ramps in each cooker and we take it, we let them wilt down and then we add another dish pan full. We just keep adding until it's, until they're wilted down and full and then we let them broil. It takes around 40 to 40 some sacks of ramps to do a ramp dinner. We cook from 32 to 36 buckets, five and six gallon buckets. One bushel of ramps cooks down one gallon of ramps. A bushel of raw ramps cooks one gallon of cooked ramps. Two bags of ramps, which is about nine bushel, will cook about six gallon after you take the dirt off. And these are just ready to pour into our colander. These are 20 quart canners, but they don't cook down near 20 quarts. And then we, we let them drain really, really well. When we set it up there and let it drain, it's ready to go into a bucket and go into the freezer. We freeze them while they're hot. Seems to make them really good. Everybody in the fall says they're sweeter than they are in the spring. They're all the same ramps. Okay, after we we'll take them out of the freezer like a day or two before the dinner because they're five and six gallon buckets and they have to thaw out. We let them thaw and then on Friday night, we take them out and slice them out most of the time because it's frozen. And then we put them in uh, the steam tables. About four o'clock Saturday morning, we add bacon grease to them and start them frying. The week prior to the dinner, things begin to get seriously busy. Monday or Tuesday, diggers once again travel back into the mountains to obtain fresh ramps. These will be served raw during the dinner. They are very carefully cleaned and stacked and stored so they are not bruised. Ninety dozen eggs are cooked, peeled, and pickled. Friday, things begin running full steam ahead. 125 pounds of beans are carefully inspected and soaked, and a thousand pounds, yes, a half a ton, of potatoes are peeled and sliced. Late Friday night, 550 pounds of bacon gets fried. Early Saturday morning, the 125 pounds of beans go on to cook. The potato fryers commence. The 
cornbread is mixed and rolls are formed. We serve both hot rolls and cornbread. Iced tea, Kool-Aid, and coffee are also prepared in advance. Around 1.55 p.m., the serving staff places pitchers of tea, Kool-Aid, and water, and the hot food, northern beans, bacon, eggs, fried potatoes, cooked ramps, and the breads on the tables. Serving hours are from 2 to 7 p.m., and folks begin lining up before 11 a.m. Quite often, there's still a line at 5 o'clock p.m. The crowd anxiously awaits the moment the doors open and they can begin to take their seats. Well, I'm usually here about nine every year, spring and fall. Have, have been for the, probably the last uh, 10, 15 years. He's a ramp eater from way back. We came for the ramps. <laughs> They'll always have business because there's always going to be us ramp eaters out here. <laughs> I've been coming here since 71. Uh, this is the best ramp feed going. And when I was down here, they kick you out of school for eating them. Really? Uh, yeah, I don't think they do that anymore. They probably feed them to them. <laughs> I, like, I like ramps and everything goes with it. There's one thing I can do is eat. <laughs> This is the best ramp feed I've ever attended. I can't say ever, excuse me. The one at Walkersville was very close to this in, in uh, the uh, equality business. They were both equally good. We're like a, we're like a family. We, we meet here every year. We have a reunion. People are wonderful people here to work with you and keep the tables full and everything. And uh, I really enjoy the people to, you got working there. It is. Everybody joins together. Everybody works good together, Adam. He does a real good job. Again, this is the best ramp dinner in the world. This is the best one. There's no doubt about it. I, I just come for the people. If there's food and I want some, I'll get it. If I don't, you know, I'm not out of anything. I come to eat, and I come to sponsor the school and the fire, firehouse, but they're all for a good cause, usually. No, this is a family affair here. You know, it, they, uh, the children, I mean, they they just jump right in there and they just do a little bit of everything. I'm sure by the time evening's over, all these folks will be happy. Younger workers serve a kind of apprenticeship by bussing tables their first year or two. Later they advance to more popular jobs.
Our volunteer firefighters are instrumental in all aspects of the dinner. They transport large containers of prepared food to the serving areas and perform traffic control as they direct the study stream of cars into parking spots. In the past, we have attempted to document the number of man hours required to put on our feast, but an accurate account is virtually impossible. And when people are eating these ramps, they need to think about how much hard work it was. <laughs> Several prep tasks are still going on throughout the dinner, such as potatoes being fried, ramps reheated, breads baked. About 210 dozen eggs are frying during the meal. At the close of the evening, the treasurers of the school parent group and the fire department sit down with a cashier or two to count the proceeds for the dinner. Usually each group realizes about $5,000 in profits. Several. This is this is right straight up there at the top. People come far and near to this dinner, so we come down here and we don't regret it. It's it's been quite a meal. I've decided to have either a bunch of people really like the ramp, or else there's a bunch of awful good cooks here. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> they have them over home too, but not like these here. This is spatial here. Beginning in the spring of 2009, the dinner will take place in our new Hacker Valley Elementary School. We hope you will visit our area in the near future, be it to enjoy our ramp dinners, to roam the mountain, parkway, byway, and backway, or to explore nearby Holly River State Park. Thank you for taking the time to learn more about our ramp dinner. We hope you have enjoyed our story, an amazing feast by amazing volunteers. My name is Bertie Jane Cutlip, and a lot of people call me the apple butter jelly pepperellish poetry woman. A friend of mine asked me to write a poem about ramps, so this is it. Someone asked me to write a poem about ramps, this I'll try to do. People start digging them in the spring because they are good for you. Some people use them as a spring tonic. Some just dig them to sell. Some won't tell you where they dig them. That secret is kept very well. 
It is fun to go to a ramp dinner. That is really a treat. You get to talk to a lot of good friends and there's always good, plenty of food to eat. Oh yes, there is lots of t things to do in the spring. This is one of the first things they do. Just roam through the forest and take a ramp digging crew. They dig lots of them regardless of a smell. Fry them with potatoes or just can them to sell. So let us treasure our findings. Thank God every day for giving them to us to eat, raw, fried, or just anyway. Thank you.